Hey guys, all right, so it is 4.30 and I um, finished my first walk around four, my first workout. I've already taken my progress photo um, this morning, but I pretty much had done nothing else until that walk. This is still my first half gallon. These are Mio vitamins. Um, I do wanna say welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back if you're not. Please hit that big red subscribe button and join our little family. Right now I'm currently vlogging 75 days of 75 hard. Um, I'm on day 35, so you have tons of videos to catch up on if you are new, but I just wanted to um, give that reminder. Tons more content will be coming to the channel very soon, um, but for now I am vlogging this journey and showcasing the process, so I'm excited. But um, yeah, today's been a bit of a slower start and I would say it's just been a little more effort getting into alignment with my highest self today. Um, little monthly vampire is full bore and um, yeah, definitely woke up with like the headache, the cramps, the, you know, the stuff. So it's just taken me a little bit. I've been gentler on my body this morning, just feeling like I needed to give it some breathing room, um, but that's okay. And so I've done that and I'm trying to work myself into that gratitude mode. I've had a lot of just overwhelm today and that's okay. I think having rough days is absolutely okay. It is part of the process of life. You know, sometimes on those days where we're out of alignment with that really good positive energy, it's a good reminder of how good it is to feel so good and to be grateful um, because we're in that opposite end of the spectrum. But equally, I try to work my way out of it through baby steps every time I get to one of those, you know, those places. I think it's fair. Um, I could spend time listing off all the things that have happened today and just over the last handful of weeks that have just felt like nonstop, you know, but at the end of the day, those things don't bring more good to my life. So like me listing them and going there and getting in that energy. So instead, you know, I've sat here and thought about all the gratitude that I could feel today, um, you know, and like even during my walk, it was pouring earlier and it kind of stopped and it was very gloomy and a little drizzly, but like I didn't get my hair soak wet, soaking wet like I have other days and that's been pretty nice, um, you know, and yeah, I think it's, a, it's important to just sit with yourself and think about gratitude sometimes, even when you don't want to, maybe especially when you don't want to. Um, but yeah, so I'm just taking today to be a little bit more gentle and as I'm talking about gratitude, the sun comes out. That's kind of crazy. I am going to drink my water and finish out my work day. Um, and then I'm going to, I've literally eaten a piece of bread today. That's it. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, but enjoy the rest of the vlog. see how sweaty I am but oh my gosh <laughs> shirt's wet <laughs> but oh my gosh I am so hot right now I just did the grow with Joe um I can't remember which one but <laughs> it was like the 51 minute one if you guys know what I'm talking about I'm gonna put my hair up just so I don't ruin it Um, but yeah, it was really good. I have never done her workouts, but I watched a challenge video that popped up on my YouTube and the girl was saying it's super low impact because I, um, my knee has been really bothering me. Like I even bought knee braces. I think it's the footwear I was using and then I switched back and I felt better, but my knee is still like really, really tight. And like, it was to the point where I was elevating it when I slept because then icing it at night because it was just so bad. But I think, I mentioned this in a different video, I think some of it's because I went from like literally maybe walking like five miles a month. Like, and, and I say that like in terms of exercise, obviously in normal steps I probably racked up more than that, but like there was no other exercise outside of my house. And like because of my time stuff where I work on my business and um, like work late and all that kind of stuff, there are many times where I literally am um, like I, you know, I'm just genuinely like busy. So, I mean, the not working out part was a choice, but like I order my groceries for the sake that it's just a lot easier on my weekends. 
and um so like even like those kind of steps i wasn't getting before and now i still order my groceries because i get factor meals <laughs> but um i now i'm getting all these steps in so i think going from like almost nothing really to like 150 miles in a month of april and now like still i'm keep going and i'm adding in more of these workouts so i'm not walking so much but that was a low impact um kind of walking at home workout for 51 minutes and girl you gonna sweat you were gonna sweat so really good my camera's gonna die so this is all i really have left in my pages so i'm gonna charge my camera and read my 10 pages i do like to show it on camera but i read every day anyway like for me that's not the part that i feel like i need to show um but this is the water for the day that's left um this is a second half gallon not from the first i just added more vitamins um second workout's done so yay i'm gonna read and then we're good for the day so i'll check in with you guys later hey guys okay so it is 8 50 i'm officially done with the gallon of water i have sat in i've just been sitting here and having a nice evening I've just been sitting here having a nice evening of journaling and I finished my pages I read. Um, so now I can officially mark it. Now I can officially mark everything off <laughs> um, and go to bed. Edit this video and go to bed. <laughs> but luckily this video will be pretty short because I am not going to dress it up. <laughs> um, but I am excited tomorrow's Friday and <clears throat> excuse me and i have a half day so yay so i am going to go edit and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow